Hey guys, if you didn't hear the little robot, we are currently recording. Um, how are you both doing today, Jared and Jackie? Doing well. <laughs> you didn't know who to, who, you, you guys didn't know who should answer first. <laughs> Jared. You, you go ahead, Jackie. You doing all right, Jared? I said, you, you, you go ahead, you, you, you kick things off. <laughs> I'm doing great. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. How, are you doing? How about you, Jared? You know, can't complain, you know, uh, living, living life. Still, the dream. <laughs> Somebody's got to live the dream. All right, so I want to start asking you guys questions about dog. Uh, I'm excited. Um, I had literally just watched the movie, so I have lots of plenty of things in my mind. Um, okay. I am curious if you guys had met or known each other prior to the this film, or if not, if you guys had worked with any of the other cast members or directors. <laughs> you can start, uh, Jared, this time. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I've actually I've had the pleasure of knowing Jackie for wow is it i would say almost 10 years yeah don't tell yeah when we were in high school <laughs> we, were, yeah, we were very young no we were very we, we just we both came from the east coast like right after high school and and uh you know what part, what I, part uh, of the east coast he's from uh, and or new york and i'm from new jersey oh okay okay uh, yeah, we we work out. We work together uh, a few times, uh, and it's great. Uh, yeah, I mean, Jackie's all I love. Jackie, uh, I've known her. Yeah, great, super talented. It was amazing working with her, and and uh, I I you know uh, sometimes uh, you know I don't act as much as I, I, I I've been directing and and producing and writing. So so it's it was great. I think this is actually. No, no, we acted in Pernicious. Uh, so yeah, no, I worked with Jack. We 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 worked on where I was director and actor, and then and, and so a few times, a few projects. Yeah, we get so along, we get oh. along well. We've done a lot of. I'll speak well. I mean, I think Jared is an incredible actor, so I've always been like, um, you know, very supportive of him doing more acting work because not only I feel like he's an incredible director, but he really. Some of the scenes that I shot with him and Dawn, I was really blown away by his work. And I'm, you know, I feel very lucky that I've gotten to work with him as an actress when he's directing and, you know, as a co-star. So I had thought, Jackie, that you played Dawn. I do. Okay, that's what I thought when you said- I had uh, brown hair in the movie. <laughs> well, when you said him and Dawn, I was, I was just curious just to make sure that you, I just want to make sure I wasn't just uh, misunderstanding. <laughs> um, so the titular character of Dawn, do you feel like you pulled from anybody, uh, you know, in your life or in real life, any serial killers or anything um, that you have done research on? Well, I actually love true crime. So I watch a lot of uh, documentaries about, you know, true crime stories and I watch a lot of Dateline. So I feel like, you know, that's not exactly how I prepared for the movie, but I feel like it does help to kind of get into the mindset of someone like Dawn, who, you know, obviously I don't understand exactly what she's going through, but you have to empathize with character when you play play the person so you might not understand or or um know what it's like to be that way but you kind of go into it uh, okay. now jared you are a director so like the terror that you portrayed in the film do you is that something that you direct people and try to get people to do so it's easy for you to direct yourself when you're an actor and uh, I, you know, I completely disconnect uh, when I, when I act, I, I, I would hate, I, I don't provide any sort of, uh, you know, of my di direction style. Nick is a great director and he has his own style and he did a great job. Um, so I, I'm, I'm very, very cognizant that uh, I don't want to put 
any of my directing. I just want to focus on acting when I'm acting um, and kind of create, you know, work, work, work that way. And, and, uh, cause I would hate if I, you know, I've worked with actors that I've directed and, and, and you know, it's, it's, it's not, you know, it's cool when people come up with suggestions and, and it's, but, but, but it's also, you know, the director, you know, it's a, if, if, if I, I, I do what the director tells me to do, but I do my own characterization, you know, work and it's completely separate from, you know, the, the acting. I would never direct, try to direct it myself or another actor uh, in any way, shape, if I was hired as an actor. So prior to this movie, this question's for both of you guys. What sparked your uh, <clears throat> what sparked your passion for entertainment and um, being in this industry? Uh, this time, Jackie, why don't you go first? Well, I I love movies. I've always been a big fan of movies since I was a little kid. And when I was like five, I remember I told my mom I wanted to be a director. So I used to like make little plays when I was a kid with the kids in the neighborhood and I would always you know be bossing everyone around and um <laughs> I think I just knew that that's it wasn't like I wanted to be an actress really but I knew I wanted to be it was a very kind of vague uh idea of what I wanted to do and it just kind of fell into place you know I just moved to LA and then had opportunities come to me and it wasn't like I was in musical theater or anything it just it was just something that kind of happened and I kept going with it and it's a beautiful art form I love I love being able to express myself through acting and so yeah how about you Jared so especially since you do multiple things what was your uh what you know what put that tender on the fire um you know it, it, in a way I guess it was kind of similar to to Jackie's story in that I, it, I wasn't, I was, I was, before I got in the industry, I, I had a, uh, a roommate that I was living with um, and he was an actor and he, and him and I were making these little short films and, 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 but he was very serious. Like he left, he moved to LA and became successful and me at the time, you know, I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I just, I was like, oh, this is cool. And, and I enjoy making little videos with him. And so it was kind of monkey see, monkey do uh, type of situation. Uh, I think I was like, I love the I love movies. I just didn't, I didn't ever put the combination that I could work in, you know, the movie business. Um, but it was yeah. If I had I not had that roommate that was an actor, and 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 got a chance to hang out on sets with him very early on, I don't I I I don't I probably would be selling insurance or donuts or barista. So that acting led you to directing as well, rather than the other way around. Yeah, yeah. I started as an actor. Um, you know, worked worked in a bunch of you know cool but low budget type stuff and and uh you know i was writing along the way and and it 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 kind of just it, it i was being i was doing more as a director so it kind of kicked the acting uh, to a little bit to the size which is why i was so happy to be acting again in this movie so I really, I really do enjoy acting. Uh, I really do enjoy it. It's just, you know, it's just, uh, you know, I don't, I don't, unfortunately, I don't, you know, get as many opportunities to do that. So when you guys got pitched this script, were you guys, did you guys immediately, um, like you were like yeah i want to be a part of this project or did you have to think about it a little bit my dog keeps walking by me that's no dogs are welcome dogs are welcome i know i was trying to get him to come up but he wouldn't, he wouldn't do it. uh i read the script and i thought it was so 
cool. I was like, this is so unique. And I actually, I mean, no spoilers, but I really thought it had kind of a deeper meaning. Uh, when I, when I read it the first time, I was like, oh, there's something more to this story and, you know, uh, without giving too much away, but kind of how everything kind of ties together at the end. And I just had, um, my own interpretation of it. And I really felt like it was just a really unique story. And I love like a female, uh, a great female role like this. I felt like you don't see that many roles that are, you know. I was gonna, I was gonna bring that up. <laughs> I was gonna bring that up. With a, yeah, like a yeah. female serial killer in that much of a dominant role. Like you killed that role, that was awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I, I wanted to know if you were, if you had any nervousness playing the titular character, um, because in the film, you, I mean, obviously you're acting, so you held yourself together really well. You, you know, you delivered everything perfectly, but personally, did it, like, scare you at all because all the attention is going to be on you? I don't really think of it like that. I mean, when you're doing a movie, it's so, there's just, you're always pretty exhausted too because there's a lot of scenes that you have to get done. I mean, we shot this in pretty much a week. I mean, or less. It was a very quick shoot. Uh, Nick was incredible, like making everyone feel really comfortable. And we shot, I mean, I had so many monologues <laughs> that Jared and I were kind of, laughing about that it was like yeah oh my god so many yeah <laughs> yeah like sometimes you go into a movie and you're like all right well I know that these scenes are going to be kind of big ones that I really need to lock down but then there's going to be other scenes where I'm like okay I can kind of get this uh tightened up by like the night before or you know where you're working with the other actors so it kind of clicks but with this it was just so much dialogue that there was no, it was probably the most intense preparation I had to do because it was such a short time prior to filming and then filming it was no breaks like I was constantly in the mode of like what's the next scene and how am I going to prepare for it and it was it was very taxing on me <laughs> it was a lot you were in dawn mode it's like you went to dawn camp for a week I did go to dawn camp for a week, but I don't, you know, it's like, you never know how it's going to come out. I hope I did the part as well as I could have under the circumstances. It was a very um, challenging shoot, but we, I think, you know, we did the best we could with. Yeah, I think you wrecked it. Now, Jared, you were in hysterics for a good <laughs> a portion of the film. Um, yeah. Was that tiring? Did you have to do reshoots of it because it was hard for you to continue to like scream and shake? And, you know, oh, man, I, I I have you know not having seen it like it's 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 hard because when you're in the moment doing it, um, uh, you know, I it I was just you know going uh, kind of scene by scene. Um, because you know my character, I, I, I'm not in it as, you know, as as much, so I had I had more time. Jackie was was in every scene, so you know she, she had the much harder job of, and and the mon the monologue. I my my character would, you know, say a, a few lines here and there, and I you know I did my best to to react, but um, you know I think the movie's called Dawn, so you know it's really about her you know the the story jackie's character and and her agenda and it was it's it easier for me because i you know she had, she had to play like a serial killer with you know these crazy motivations and and i was just playing a regular guy so i was trying to you know that got put into this situation so i didn't i didn't have to sort of create a character i kind of just you know said all right well let me approach this as a guy who a normal guy who gets into an Uber or whatever, you know, ride chair, uh, and is in this crazy situation. So, um, I mean, I hope I did good. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I hope I don't suck, you know, I mean, I haven't seen it, so I, I, I can, uh, I hope I, I, yeah, I just hope I didn't suck. 
I was really blown away by Jared's acting. Knowing Jared, you know, the, the one scene where I don't, you know, I, I, I obviously haven't seen the movie, but there's one scene where he's, you know, like you said, in hysterics. And I remember watching it and it definitely, it almost took me out of it because I was like, wow, Jared is fucking killing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the, the swear word, but uh, I just was No, really swear, swearing is totally fun. Swearing well, is fun. I, I try not. <laughs> <laughs> I no, no, so well, uh... Yeah, and I just felt like, you know, knowing him and being his friend, I'm also like super proud of him and I love seeing him act. So I was like, wow, that was just some of the best acting I'd seen in a movie that I've <laughs> been in. I was really impressed. So I hope that, I hope that that made the cut. <laughs> man, she's gassing you up, brother. <laughs> oh man, I, I, I know. Well, I, I appreciate it. I, 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 it, it, it's weird. Again, like, you know, it's been a while, it's been a year since I, played uh, uh, a role that said more than one line so uh you know i i, I i'm just the rust i'm just i was just sandpapering off the rust you know on my uh on my act but i like you know it, it's fun i i had a great time and uh yeah i mean i hope the movie i hope the movie you know turns out well, and gets you know that's that that's that's what I hope. Because I, I I I we we all we all it was you know it was a small production, but everyone involved really, really you know brought it. You know uh, the director, the DP, the actors and the crew, and it was it was it it, it it was good. It had like a sort of a you know very indie spirit about the project about the shoot. And even if it was a big big project, I feel like this was put together perfectly. Like, I can't imagine the same feel from something with a bigger, like the feel that this movie has is exactly what I feel like it's meant to be. And I feel like that is, it fits this genre perfectly rather than like a big, huge budget type thing. Like, well, what would that add other than things that make it less realistic. And we're talking about like a regular Uber ride that anybody could get into. Um, and that makes me want to ask you guys, like, do you have any horror stories from Rideshare, Uber, Lyft, any things like that? First of all, well, thank you for that amazing compliment. That was, that's such a nice way to, you know, describe the, the movie and I'm excited to see it now. Uh, <laughs> I don't really have, knock on wood, uh, I haven't had too many. What about you, Jared? <laughs> um, I, you know, it's not so much a horror story, but it, it was very, I was in an Uber, we were just driving, and the guy, I just wasn't, it wasn't really like he did anything crazy, but he just drove off, a, he drove off the road into a ditch. Oh. And, <laughs> and it was, and like, not good it was like very scary this uh 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 whoa and then i actually had a i actually helped it was not like a major ditch but it was like and the car was sideways and then i got out and me and the other guy the driver actually had to push the car uh up a slope uh to get it back on the road <gasps> Not, not so, not so. Long. He wasn't trying to kill me, uh, but I guess that's about as horror. Uh, 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 that's about as scary as it can get. But that's completely not applicable. I should have just said no. I don't have a good story. <laughs> we just called ditch, and it's like the Uber. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, and he starts. The, the, the funny part was like he, the driver starts blaming the car in front of him. What that jammed on its brakes but the car was like the guy was just not paying attention the car jammed like hit his brakes and he swerves off the road for no reason and it was just like dude you didn't have to you didn't have to go to that extreme well it seems like that's where uh an uber driver can kill and leave their victims <laughs> like in a ditch yeah. like like what a what a perfect way just like let's let's hit the ditch and uh this is where you're staying this is your, yeah. your drop-off. 
<laughs> it was so, a, uh, do you, uh, when you guys came into the project, was the team, like the behind the camera team, already uh, set and everything ready for you guys to go? Or did you guys come in uh, to the project and kind of um, have the whole ensemble uh, cast and crew kind of all come in at the same time? I mean, we all know each other, a lot of us. So I think it was pretty, everything was kind of uh, put together at, around the same time. So like we're a good. group, like, a, like as a group, since you guys all know each other. Some, some, some of us have worked together before and I think, you know, yeah, it was like the camera team and we worked together and the actors all kind of, we all kind of came together at once. That's cool. So with it, I know it's called Dawn, but um, I think she, uh, the show, is it called Dawn Dead or Dawn Dead? Her show. It, okay. I was curious if that was ever the title, like working title for the movie or if there were any other working titles before it was just Dawn. Just Dawn, I think. Yeah. I nice. hope so. I like the name Dawn. It's cool. So we talked about we talked about your past um, already. So I kind of want to know if there's anything that people don't ask you about this film. If we usually just ask you about inspiration, da da da, same questions over and over again in all the interviews. Is there anything you want to say about um, Dawn that you feel like people don't touch on and people don't know or won't, won't pick up on right away? Well, my interpretation again was just I feel like Dawn has her her agenda and she believes that she's doing good. And, you know, that's kind of what you have to tap into when you're playing a, a killer or something like this. Like they don't think that they're the bad guy really, you know, uh, they believe that what they're doing is, is kind of justified. So you have to get behind that perspective and point of view to bring it to life, I think. What about you, Jared? Um, you said anything. The question was anything else to anything to that it? anything that you wanted to say, you know, to people watching and reading us about Dawn that you feel like um, isn't necessarily brought up in interviews. This is usually the hardest question for for people to answer. <laughs> yeah, I mean. I mean, I, I, I would, I would, you know, just want to say, you know, to the, the, I guess this is sort of like a general statement about, you know, I guess, movie critics and independent films. It just seems unfair sometimes because uh, they, a lot of critics cannot differentiate a low budget film versus a big budget film. So they wind up comparing Exactly. you're comparing drive you know to dawn and it's like uh well that movie flipped you know 100 cars and it had ryan gosling and it's like and 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 it's like i we we understand that but like we know you know this is you know uh you know a low budget film and uh you know we we had we did the best with what we had and and i hope I mean, it's a never, it's a, it's a, a battle that will never change. Uh, and it, it, you know, I just hope that people can sort of enjoy, you know, go into the film and appreciate it uh, for the story and not, you know, and yeah, there's no Ryan Gosling and, and Brian Cranston, but, you know, I, um, I hope that's it. I, we only get one or two takes most of the time with low budget projects. You guys did have Eric Roberts, but I think it was only for the one scene. Mm -hmm. Was he that? Was, yeah. Don, you were in that scene with him, right? Mm -hmm. He was really crying. And we, Don, and we, I, and we had I, Michael Pere. Like, we had uh, Michael Pere and uh, uh, was Brendan from Buffy. Nick, yeah, 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 yeah. We're Brandon from yeah from but you know, so yeah, yeah. There was some names. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there was some names. So it was, it, it's good. I hope hopefully, you know, it's just how the movie business is by nature. Like who's in it, you know? And then, you know, like such a star or it's an aristocratic art form with you know 
with these rules that you know you put this guy in and and he's worth way more and it's just you know it's aristocratic so you sort of you got you gotta you gotta abide by the rule i mean not abide by the rules that's just the way it is so um i'm sorry i called you don jackie <laughs> but i uh are you a are you a serial killer in real life like, are you a uh, murderer? Uh, <laughs> Did you guys uh, have a, a real gun? Did you guys have a real gun on set? No, you... no. Okay. I'm terrified of guns. I actually just had to do training for a movie where I actually had to go to a range, but I'm very scared of guns. I'm not really a fan. Uh, no, no real, no real weapons were on set and all very safe. There was, we did some of our own stunts, right, Jared? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I took a couple uh, <laughs> took a couple lump, lumps to the head. <coughs> no, no, no. I, you know, we were we we were safe. Everything was very safe, and you know, it's just tragedy what happened with you know on Rust, and you know, every the whole industry sort of perked up, and and uh, you know, yeah. a lot of people aren't using guns uh even you know the the quarter loads or it's just you know i mean it's da it's dangerous but you know i will i will say this i will say this and this might be controversial but i you know i feel with you know if you have a proper armor and you, and, and, and and you know your safety meetings are done right and conducted and the weapons are the bullets are not real bullets. Like there is a way to use, uh, you know, guns that fire blanks for, and, 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 and they do look great because when you actually fire a gun, cause I, I, I fire guns. I, I, yeah, I don't hunt or do anything. I, I like, I like target practice. And when you fire a gun, that gun, like you cannot fake that. You cannot go, just do that like the power of the gun will create you'll see you'll see a flex here you'll see, your eyes will will wince a little bit from the from the 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 sparks like coming out of it like those are things that you cannot add you can put a you can put a muzzle flash on a gun you can add a sound effect but the actor itself is like especially a guy if a guy's mowing down people down with a machine gun they're doing ah, like that would never happen. Like you got like the fire. recoil. Like, the, you, 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 it's it, it would go deaf. <laughs> I yeah. mean, you just you, you can't you can't operate uh, those types of guns like that. That's only a movie thing. So, but when you do have a you know when you do use you watch some of the older movies and watch how watch guys shooting uh, you know in these western movies and they're using different bullets and, and it's completely different now you're just like pop 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 like, like everyone's john fucking wick and 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 you can't shoot like that like like only seal like if you're a navy seal or a green beret maybe maybe you can get to that level of uh you know control. Of, 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 of control like it's, it's extremely difficult and it's sort of uh not a not it's a knock on sort of the, the guys that really guy and girls that that operate like this, you know, uh, that are, these are, you know, special ops guys that, and, and, and to make everyone look like they can control a firearm like that is, it's, it's, it's disrespectful to, to people that are risking their lives overseas, you know, that are able to operate their, their weapons and they, they live with these weapons and, you know, they practice every day and, you know, they're, they're in, you know, and they're doing real shit. And I have so much respect for that. For those types of guys, I got a lot of folks, a lot of friends uh, serving, and and you know, like maybe just you know, it's like it's like it's like on Veterans Day, most people go out and they you know they party and they get drunk, but they're not thinking about you know the dead soldiers. And I'm not trying to get political here or anything, but you know, I, I you know I've I've lost some people, so it's like, and then, you know, I know people that have served and. Uh, just I, I, honestly, I was try at one point in my life was wanting to uh, potentially join the armed forces, but 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 my uh, my family just 
I, cause I, I, I've had people die in my, you know, great uncle got shot down. Uh, grandfather was in the we're in World War II, it's in, you know, and, and so it's, they just didn't want that for me. And, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's a real skill. It's a real skill. Mm-hmm. That was a hell of an answer, by the way. Thank you for that. You even gave some perspective. Yeah, no, yeah, that was awesome. Um, like sorry, sorry. that was that was killer. Not to like shit on you, Jackie. You've been giving good answers too, but yeah, Jared really ran with that one. Um, no, 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 no. And I'm not, I'm not. Yeah, and I'm that doesn't mean to shit on anybody. I, it wasn't. It, it's just a thing that I. It's just a thing that I see people move. Oh, no guns. We can't have. We can't. We can't fire four loads. Like we can't do it. Like I'm just like. There was a terrible incident that happened, and now it's affecting the way everything is is being done. You know, just because one person, a couple of people, you know, screw it up, now now it kind of screws it up for everybody. Uh, uh, but safety first. I'm all, I'm all about safety. I don't want anyone to get hurt ever. Um, yeah. Now, Jackie, you also were. On, I was interested because you played two different roles on Westworld. Um, what was it like to play two different characters, even if they weren't like um, uh, major characters in the in the show? I actually think I only played one, but it was just credited differently for some reason. Oh, okay. I was gonna say because you were in the three episodes, but I wasn't sure if it was the same role. I thought it was two different ones. I'm in the yeah the first two uh, first two episodes of the season of season one and I did the pilot and then was brought back for the uh I guess it would be the first episode or or second episode I'm not sure after the pilot what they would call the 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 one right after that Uh, I think it's the first episode um but yeah we shot that and then a year later they called me to come back for the next episode so it was that was a great experience so for you guys um um, I had a question and forgot it. So I'm going to say, what uh, about your guys' future? What do you guys have coming up um, and that you'd like to uh, plug? Like, do you guys have any other projects that you're working on or you guys have coming out that you would like to, uh, like, I want to give you a platform to mention anything that you'd like to promote. I have one coming out called Out of Hand and it's with uh, Billy Baldwin and so I'm not sure exactly when the release date will be, but that that's a cool, cool thriller movie. It's a thriller, you said? Yeah, I think that's the next one that's coming out. Are you allowed to talk about it as well and kind of give an explanation? Uh, yeah, it's like, um, I think it's just kind of like a, one of those, it's a thriller, but it's a mystery and it's, uh, I play a pretty cool character because it has to do a lot with like the whole story and kind of kicks off the, the, um, I guess. Yeah, nice. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Um, the question I was going to ask you was, did you do all of your scenes where you were like saying rule one, rule two, uh, did you do all those scenes at the same time? Like, did you do all that? That's, that's what I had thought. I figured you yeah. probably did. <laughs> it was going to be like a homemade feeling. Like she was doing this for her show on her own. And that's kind of what we tried to portray with that. Nice. So. so I uh, just wanted to thank you guys so much for coming on the show. Um, if there's any last things that you guys would like to say before I let you guys um, get off the recording, this is the time to do it. Um, so is there anything either of you would like to add? Uh, just thank you so much for the interview. And I am definitely not like Dawn. So hopefully you don't get too scared when you watch this. But uh, yeah. Watch yeah, that. no, I, I yeah, really, <laughs> really, really appreciate you interview you know and, and it's just you know it's, it's people like you that, that that raise awareness you know for, for independent film and i am anyone that is supports independent film uh in this like this i i i love i love those people so i i, I thank you thank you thank you of course sorry i saw the movie before you guys but <laughs> you guys I'm, are- I'm, 
Yeah, I gotta see it. Yeah, I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Send me a yeah. link. Send me a link. Oh, I, honestly, I'll ask OC if I can, and then I'll forward it to you. Uh, I can forward it, or I'll ask OC to send it to you both, you guys, because I think this is through October Coast, right? Yeah, yeah, they have a link. Yeah, there, there's somebody's hold. Somebody's holding out, Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clint's holding out on you guys. So <laughs> um, that uh, pretty much wraps it up. You guys were great birthday guests, by the way. This is my birthday. So <laughs> you guys were oh, a wonderful sure. interview. I tried to cancel it because it was my birthday, but I was like, it's I'm birthday. June 29th. You're July 29th. I love that. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, just cool. a, just a month. Nice. Have, a, have um, a great birthday. Bro. That's I, I am, man. You guys, you guys were awesome to talk to. This went a little longer than I expected, but thank, thank you guys again so much. And uh, hopefully we'll talk about more projects in the future. Can't wait. Talk Can't to you later. Happy birthday.